I call to order the May 8th, 2017 Latrobe City Council meeting. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time I would ask for a moment of silence to give thanks, to ask for guidance, or to just quietly relax. Oh, excuse me. Okay. We were to, we have scheduled a 6:30 public hearing. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I read right past that. Blew right past uh, that. Ordinance item. Sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, we're going to move on to the next item. Um, this is a public hearing. Um, we're going to bring my glasses. <laughs> um, okay. We have to have a 6:30 public hearing. So we have a proposed ordinance amending the Latrobe City Code to provide standards for tower and non-tower based wireless communication facilities. Uh, yes. This this matter has been before council for some time. Um, we've had pending ordinance status um, for the better part of this year. Uh, so it's an item that's been debated by council uh, in public uh, quite often. So um, I won't, I'll spare everyone and not go through our entire 30 something page ordinance on this and um, kind of give the quick hit list on it and then we can open it for public comment. Uh, this ordinance regulate, uh, updates our code as it relates to um, your traditional cell phone towers. Currently we have um, pretty Spartan um, restrictions, regulations on um, your normal towers. Um, so this this code will um, will bring our code up to date, uh, make it a state of state of the art ordinance. Uh, it also addresses uh, cell phone towers or cell phone units, antenna that um, are the new wave, and these are those smaller um, units that are placed on uh, towers in the right of way. Towers being uh, phone poles utility poles, light poles, um, sometimes they're attached to the side of a building. Uh, so this provides two different ways for applicants to go forward. Um, one is through the zoning hearing board and then when it's in the right of way then, and it's a, a new use, a new pole that they want to construct, that'll be a right of way access permit that'll go through council so you guys will be involved in that. Um, this ordinance has been provided to the county as well as our planning commission for their review. Planning commission did submit some uh, minor items for changes which were made. Uh, this ordinance has been available for public inspection and this hearing was duly uh, noticed and advertised. Uh, so at this point I'd uh, leave the floor open for any members of the public or council to comment. Anyone have any public comment that they'd like to share? Including members of council? And I'll call the public meeting closed, and we will move on to the roll call. Mr. Bartels? Here. Mr. Murbo? Here. Mrs. Weller? Here. Mr. Corish? Here. Mr. Baldinari? Here. Ms. Beasy? Here. Mayor Wolper? Here. All present. At this time, I, I'd like, I would ask for a approval of the minutes from the April 10th, 2017 meeting. I move the minutes of the April 10th, 2017 meeting be approved and accepted and be permitted to remain on the secretary's desk where they will be available for reading and inspection to anyone. Thank you, Ms. Beasy. May I have a second, please? I second that, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Forish. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. At this time, I would like a motion to approve the fiscal department reports and pay bills for the month of April 2017. 
So moved, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Forge. May I have a second, please? I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Bartels. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. At this time, we have the citizens' request portion of our meeting. This relates to agenda items only. So if you have anything uh, that you would like to discuss that is related to the agenda, please go to the microphone, state your name and address, and please limit your comments to three to five minutes. We will have another opportunity at the end of the meeting for open discussion. Any agenda item questions or discussion? Okay. Committee reports. Finance. We got nothing right now. All right, Julie. Right. Uh, public safety. Uh, we had scheduled a meeting for um, Monday, the twenty second, whatever the Monday is before the second meeting at six o'clock. Uh, personnel. I don't think we did have anything since. And that's Jimmy. Where we're at with the. Oh yeah, Jim. Where are we on the uh, civil service stuff? Um, I'm all finished testing and I have the three top names I'm going to get interviews next week. Wow, good for you. That moved pretty quick. Okay, good. Um, anything else? Events? I know you guys had a meeting, right? Uh, I was unable to make it. Yeah, so were you. Yeah, it. that's right. I remember. Okay. I'll find out from Craig. Any update on the parking committee? Julie and uh, Jack, did you meet with uh, the school? We did, and um, so we're aiming for, it'll be quarterly, half year. Half, half year. year. Twice a year. Twice a year? Yeah, so we're aiming for her to give us, like, nominations in okay. September-ish. Okay. And then we'll move forward from there, maybe interviewing the candidates, mm -hmm. or, uh, just to see what's good. what their background is. Okay. Anything, any board and authority report updates? Skip, anything from LMA? Nothing new. Um, park and Rack, I mean, obviously you guys know what's going on there, so. Okay, department reports, Mike. Uh, just two things. Uh, I think we talked about this at the agenda meeting. We had some problems, you know, with the, uh, the detour for the bridge, you know, the traffic. Spoke to uh, you know PennDOT. Basically, they did come in and do a, uh, a study of all the, the the detour, all the signage. Basically, they said everything was up to code, uh, but they're going to still continue to look at it to see if there's any changes that are going to be needed or anything like that. Uh, the other thing was uh, I don't know if you noticed, like with some trailers around town, or uh, the digital speed monitoring devices. I'm going to be changing those uh, weekly, different locations, uh, help reduce and slow down the traffic in those areas. So uh, it it's, uh, seems like they're working so far. So we're going to continue just putting them sporadically around the around the city. While we're on the subject of the bridge, I had um, a couple. I, I wondered a couple of things, and, and if we could ask this of Penn Audit, is whether have they actually looked at the timing of the lights um, on 980? on uh, Lloyd Avenue and Unity, and then the, the light out on um, at, at the red light of Mission Road. Yes. You, they have? They have looked at the one on Mission Road. I'm not sure about the one at Lloyd. <laughs> now, what I was told on the, uh, the one at Mission Road is if they change the sequence to that, it's going to back up further uh, at uh, Ligonier and uh, 982. And it's also going to back up the traffic on Mission Road, which then only, I think they were saying about eight or nine vehicles would be allowed to go in. Yeah, but all, I mean, sometimes that is backed up from the Mission Road light around the corner and down past La Trobe Steel. And then I, and I actually got a phone call today from somebody that suggested, and, and this would be for Mike and Jim because I don't, you know, um, from four to six, or you know, when it's the most heavily trafficked time, if we had someone from, if we had someone from the fire police at that at that intersection, um, Jim, you're shaking your head now before I finish my sentence. So obviously, you already thought about it, or someone already talked to you. No, I've been monitoring pretty good. I'll, I'll be my report one. Okay. My turn. Okay. Thanks, Mike. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, to reiterate what Pentagon said, um, it would probably be fruitless to 
change any of the lights right now. Um, like I, I expressed before that we need to have patience. I've been monitoring it. Um, I stay after um, anywhere from 4.30 to 5.30, and that's about the worst times from 4.30 to 5.30. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one hour where it's backed up past late trips still, but when you think about the wait, it's not really that bad. I mean, it is an inconvenience, but it could be a lot worse. Mm -hmm. um, I think it should be left the way it is, okay. uh, pending, you know, something tragic happening or, or, or it just... Uh, you know, doubling what it is now, but the wait, the wait is less than four minutes. What about, and I don't go, I don't, I don't go that way very often, but um, what about the, the one, because um, I got a phone call today from somebody that lives on 2nd Avenue and they said that that traffic from Unity Street backs up the whole way past, I don't know, Mr. Beast, and I don't know if that's true or not, but it's heavy. Like I come home, Donahue Road, and down is that second? That's yeah, the yeah. I think it has thinned out a little bit. Um, yeah. People taking other ways, but it, I don't know. I mean, I haven't monitored that that, that that way yet. But mm -hmm. I mean, you can. It's different, like for directing traffic. If you're trying to get cars out of town, mm -hmm. when you direct traffic, you can get them out of town. And you can move traffic. But when they're coming both ways, it's difficult. Yeah. To you have only so much space and so much time on your lights that mm -hmm. it just it reverses what you're trying to do if you try to direct traffic because okay. some, when you move people through, you have a gap, then they back up at the next light. So All right. If you didn't have two people directing traffic, it wouldn't be worth it. So, you, so um, I, yeah, I said I'd at least ask a question. Um, I mean, the it's, resident that called me, but you you haven't looked, you haven't really monitored the unity. So, the no, unity but, but the the um, the Mission Road, Eaton Road, Hillview Avenue. You're looking at it possibly a four minute wait at the most, and that's not bad for one lane of traffic on the other end of town. Okay, and it's only it's only down to like an hour, mm -hmm. four thirty, yeah. five thirty. Well, this person told me that's true of. That's where the big problem is at up on Second Avenue. Well, you know, what are you going to do? You got one lane. You know, we're going to have to deal with this until it's finished. Mm -hmm. I mean, unfortunately, that's a lot of people. You know, they also told me that there's a lot of speeding going on Second Avenue. Although now they think this might slow it down, mm -hmm. as well as the well, there's the a sign uh, you monitor there. there now. So now, yeah, yeah, they they. We, we just moved that. I uh, just moved it today. We had it there. It was working, uh, working very well, but like I said, every week I want to try to uh, change it. Mm -hmm. I noticed on Joanne Drive, a lot of people were taking that as a shortcut mm -hmm. to wrap around. So right around the bend of the hospital parking lots, so I put another unit there uh, that'll you know slow down traffic. Okay. <laughs> what else, Jim? Um, to get back to the hiring, excuse me. Um, uh, two weeks ago, we had the. Uh, physical agility test uh, last week we had the written test on Saturday um, I hired a company who provided the tests and at, right after the test you seal the envelope civil service committee signs off on it it goes to straight to the people who correct it I don't touch anything I automatically get the results back in my email they rank them uh, so it, it takes any any question out of the correcting or the ranking um, and that's uh, why it was so uh, fast they guarantee 72 hours after they receive and they'll have your results so that's why it, it was uh, quite quick um, we're going to have we have like i said we have the three top candidates that we'll be interviewing next week um, anybody has any questions uh, i'll gladly talk to you about it afterwards or just one question. How many applicants altogether did we have? I'm just curious. Um, we had 21 to begin with. Really? Oh, wow. Uh, it, it went down to 10 after the physical agility. A few didn't show up and, and uh, several uh, didn't pass the physical agility. And then it went down to, I believe, 7 after the written test because they didn't achieve the 80%. Uh, if you didn't achieve the 80% requested by, or required by the civil service. Um, we're, uh, like I said, we're going to do the interviews next week. So that list, will, according to civil service regulations, will be active for two years. 
And didn't you change it this time so you did the physical agilities first and then the written test? I, I did that the last couple oh, okay. of times. And yeah. that works out better, huh? Yes, it does. Then okay. when I'm buying tests mm -hmm. for people who fail with. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, so it's it's falling together pretty quickly. I'll have a name. Uh, I'll have a name for it after the interviews for the next council meeting uh, that can be voted on. And who does the interviews? Um, I do, and usually the city manager does. Okay. Um, I didn't break that tune yet. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll find some time. No problem. All his spare time. Yes. Okay. But. Um, the next thing, third thing, uh, fire pits. I have about 16 complaints. The uh, problem is they're after the fact. Uh, and I tell the people that they have to um, call when it's happening. You know, they'll call the next day or three days later. And, uh, this may be a short-lived <laughs> thing. I mean, we said if it's... What kind of complaints? The smoke, too close to the house, things like that. I have the list and the addresses and the complaints and who they complain about. So, uh, it's got to be. Is it 16 account. different yes. places? Yes. Correct. John, have you had any complaints? No, I, actually, Jim, I have, but they must be all coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, I'm sorry, Chief Boomers, anything else? No. Chief Brazilian? Uh, just a few things. Uh, with the traffic patterns, we kind of had an early start to our Saturday morning with a truck that made two wrong turns. <laughs> so it kept uh, <coughs> Chief Boomers' guys and my guys and Mike's guys busy for <laughs> a few hours. That's what I heard. Uh, kind of interesting. Um, other than that, we little storm what I call a little bit of a microburst come through that kind of kept uh, us in public works and police running pretty good too with trees and some wires down but, uh, it got done I mean uh, my most trying was the gentleman that kind of had the shed fire so that oh uh, yeah that's yeah happened, so, uh, yeah that was tough yeah that was that was probably the worst of our month but, uh, Definitely different. Yeah. Like I said, everybody, everybody kind of worked together to get things done there. And that's you always do. So, so. You guys always do. Other than that, uh, that's all I have. Dan? Well, I just wanted to remind residents that if they do want the small recreational fire, they need to get a permit. And I don't know if some of these complaints were from, you know, because they didn't have permits and they weren't set up right. I don't know. I'll check his list. If, yeah, I was going to say, can we take his list and contact those people? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I've given out 25 permits already, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I see a lot more in yours that aren't permitted. Well, and I'm telling you, we're going to find them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like the ones that were there before we even started. Probably. Yeah, probably. probably. Them, but mm -hmm. permits. We're going we're to find them. We're going to find them. So. Um. Is that it? Ann? Okay. Um, okay, Zach, moving on. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, item 10A1, approving request and authorizing installation of on-street disability parking space at 123 Avenue D. Uh, Catherine Cantoris submitted a request for a handicapped parking space in front of her residence. Uh, we have a resolution here before you uh, entitled Establishing a Handicapped Parking Space on Avenue D. Um, We'll approve this if we approve it by way of resolution, but at the end of the year, we'll confirm it by way of ordinance and it'll get adopted into the code book. Uh, so, the appropriate action would be to uh, approve a motion um, approving the resolution as outlined by the solicitor. Can I have a motion to approve the resolution as outlined by the solicitor? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Baldwin. May I have a second, please? I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Murtha. Any questions? Ms. Bach? This is resolution 2017-18. Mr. Murtha. Yes. Mrs. Welber. Yes. Mr. Baldmerian. Yes. Mr. Bartels. Yes. 
Ms. Beasy? Yes. Mr. Ford? Yes. Mayor Walker? Yes. Those seven, yes. Item 10B1 is the uh, ordinance uh, amending the code of the city of Latrobe, providing standards for the location, placement, construction, and maintenance of tower-based and non-tower-based wireless communications facilities. Uh, since that this ordinance was outlined during the public hearing, we'll dispense with that. However, I would like to note that the ordinance was provided to the county and our planning commission pursuant to the municipality's planning code. Uh, public hearing was held on it pursuant to the code, and uh, it was duly noticed for action on tonight's meeting. Uh, so the appropriate action to take would be a uh, motion to approve the ordinance as outlined. May I have a motion to approve the ordinance as outlined by the solicitor? Make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Bartels. May I have a second? Thank you, Ms. Beasy. Any questions or discussion? Ms. Buck? This is Ordinance 2017-8. Ms. Beasy? Yes. Mrs. Weller? Yes. Mr. Bartel? Yes. Mr. Baldmeri? Yes. Mr. Martha? Yes. Mr. Forish? Yes. Mayor Wolf? Yes. Seven yes. Item 10 bc one is a resolution authorizing the disposition of the 2009 municipal records of the finance, uh, administration finance department. Uh, last year, we adopted the updated um, municipal records manual as amended in 2009. Uh, this disposition of records would be pursuant to the schedules and, and regulations in that handbook. Um, so what uh, the appropriate action to take would be uh, to approve the resolution as outlined by the solicitor. May I have a motion to approve the resolution as outlined by the solicitor? Make that motion, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Forrest. May I have a second, please? I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Beasy. Any questions or discussion? Ms. Buck? This is resolution 2017-19. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mrs. Weller? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. Mr. Baldwin? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Ms. Beasy? Yes. Mayor Wolfer? Yes. That is seven, yes. Now the last item is 10C2, authorizing the solicitor to prepare an ordinance designating permit parking only on the section of West First Avenue. Uh, this item was put on the agenda even though there wasn't um, any firm commitment at the agenda session. Um, essentially, uh, property owners on that street are having issues parking due to their proximity to the hospital. Um, the motion that we've prepared uh, would be a motion to authorize the solicitor to prepare an ordinance designating the southerly side of West First Avenue from the west side of the intersection at Joanne Drive to a point 105 feet west as permanent parking only. May I have a motion to authorize the solicitor um, to prepare an ordinance? I'll make that motion. Ma'am, thank you, Mr. Bartels. May I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, Ms. Beasy. Any questions? For discussion, I think we talked about this at the agenda, bro. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. That's it for agenda items. Unfinished business. Anyone have anything they want to discuss under unfinished business? New business. All right, I have some new business. This is. Um, one of the one of my favorite things to do um, is um, recognize our, our city employees. You know, we are Latrobe is a great community, and I think we all agree to that because that's where we choose to live and raise our families. But what, what makes it so special is is the people who um, work here every day to make sure that we're safe and that we have access and clean streets and clean roads and and access to all the things we need to have a good quality of life. So um, tonight we have uh, three employees uh, who have been with us for a few years and we'd like to recognize them. So why don't we all get down there?
afraid to say it. Now. Bill, would you please come over here? William L. Barr, in recognition of 20 years of excellent service as a heavy equipment operator for the City of Latrobe Public Works Department, Bill was hired on July 7, 1997, and this year, on his anniversary date, he will reach 20 years of service. The City of Latrobe would like to express our sincere appreciation for his many years of dedicated, dependable, and exceptional service to this community. Thank you, Bill. Likewise, I assure you. <laughs> Officer Ronald Kessler, in recognition for 15 years of outstanding service as a police officer for the City of Latrobe Police Department, the City of Latrobe extends our sincere appreciation and recognition to Officer Kessler for his loyalty, selfless bravery, and honorable service to this community. Congratulations, Ron. Thank you. more and he's not here. Chief, would you mind coming up and taking this for um, Ron? <laughs> really I know you're not, but <laughs> right. I'm sorry, Ray. I told you what happened when I can't turn on my glasses. Police officer Ray Swiderski couldn't be here. He's out of town. So in recognition for 15 years of outstanding service as a police <coughs> officer for the City of Latrobe Police Department, the City of Latrobe extends our sincere appreciation and recognition to Officer Swiderski for his loyalty, selfless bravery and honorable service to this community. And I'll ask Jim to, to pass this on to Officer Swiderski. Thank you. Thank you very much. You all have a good time to go, and we really appreciate all you do every day, so thank you. I'd ask for everyone to stick around afterwards. We're going to have a little uh, refreshments over there to uh, recognize our employees. So please stay and, 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 and join in. Uh, any other items of new business? Um, any citizens' requests? Uh, anyone want to talk about anything else? Cool. City Manager's report. Uh, just real quick, we uh, opened up bids for the uh, roof for the firehouse improvements. It's in the budget. Um, bids came in a little bit below uh, what we had budgeted, which is always good. It'll be on the uh, agenda for council's approval to award it at uh, later meeting. Okay. That's it. Uh, under the mayor's report, I just want to, you know, again, ask everyone to just be patient. I know. It seems like a long time till November, but you know how fast summer goes. So um, enjoy your summer. Be careful. Be, go slow. Watch for the kids. School's going to be getting out here in a couple of weeks, so there'll be a lot, of, uh, a lot of young ones running around, riding their bikes. So I ask everyone to be alert, be aware, and to please slow down. Uh, a lot of things coming up um, this summer. Uh, we have, you know, obviously, um, and I'm going to forget something. So if somebody thinks of something, remind me. But you know. Um, of course, Mother's Day is next week, but um, Memorial Day, and then uh, June 10th, we have the uh, Mr. Rogers Day, um, July 4th, uh, we have our 4th of July celebration, and, and then Banana Split Festival, and it's going to be here and over before we know it, so. <laughs> I know, it is, though. Relay for Life. Oh, Relay for Life is in June. Uh, the chief has that's June 9th. 9th is the um, 
Candlelight, candlelight visual, Dead Creek side. Um, When's the uh, electronics pick up? That was it. The uh, key waste for electronics, that was canceled due to the fire at the key waste. <laughs> so there hasn't been anything scheduled uh, at this big with DEP, and uh, they're going to try to work on uh, different avenues or, or something. But uh, right now, there's no collection uh, you know, site available. Keep an eye on the sign. Laura does a great job of keeping us up to date on what's going on. Thanks. Anything else for the good of the order? Yeah, I think you said you wanted to formally recognize that. Oh, yes, I did. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, um, I didn't do the agenda prep, but I did want to recognize um, our solicitor, Zach Kanzler, uh, was uh, honored by the Westmoreland Bar Association as an outstanding young, young lawyer for 2017. 16, 2017. So we're lucky, to, we're lucky we got him now before before all these accolades, and now you're being high demand, but you remember, it started, it started here first. <laughs> Thank you, I won't forget. So congratulations, Zach. We have to go into executive sessions to discuss matters of personnel. We will be back to adjourn, but that, there will be no other, other than the adjournment, there will be no other meeting. Um. Adjourn now. Oh, I can? Okay, then I'm gonna adjourn now. May I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. May I have a second, please? Okay, meeting adjourned.